peace family i want to talk about this attack on black media black independence and black institutions and i also want to talk about what i call the lorraine motel syndrome now what do you mean by the lorraine motel syndrome brother Derek? just a few weeks ago i was down in memphis tennessee where they have the civil rights museum right next to the lorraine motel where dr martin luther king was assassinated and I know some of you are going to say, well, he didn't really die there. They transported him to the hospital where he was suff to, to the hospital where he was suffocated. And there's a debate going on about that. But um, that's not the point. The point that I'm making is that the reason that they preserve sites where great men have been assassinated, like Dr. King, is so that there will be a constant reminder of the price that you may pay when you speak up and speak out against the American government. Now, I call it the Lorraine Motel Syndrome because they make examples out of our strong men and women in order to affect the strength of the voice of those that will come behind them and want to be as strong as they. For instance, right now, um, well, as I'm making this video, Colin Kaepernick has yet to be drafted by an NFL team. We're literally seeing this man tarred and feathered in front of us and quote unquote black ball, other people call it white ball, because he dared to exercise his God-given right and not stand up for the national anthem. So when the season starts and he's not playing for a team, even though he's better than many of the quarterbacks who are being drafted, that sends a message to the other players. Lorraine Motel. If you want your career to be dead as well, then you keep opening your mouth. Now, let's talk about black media. Recently, YouTube's. Um, advertisers have clamped down on what they believe to be controversial um, content on the channel. So many YouTube content creators, their revenue has dropped like 85%. Why? Because many corporations are pulling ads from YouTube and if there are no ads, no money's being generated. And if there's no money being generated, then there's less money to pay the content creators. America right now is having a hard time getting much of the propaganda that used to stick to the wall easily. They're having a hard time getting it to stick into the American psyche of the people. Why? It's because channels like this, the advice show channel, are constantly and consistently putting out information that raises the level of consciousness of the people. So what the advice show channel and other channels are doing is they're literally inoculating us with the type of medicine that will help us to ward off those things or that information that usually misguides us. And the mainstream media and the government does not have control over what it is that's being said on the Internet. So when they begin to threaten the pocketbooks of these independent creators, Listen to me. Keyword independent. There are so many of us who keep saying we need independent media. We need independent media. We need independent black media. But many fail to realize that we have platforms that we can support right now. And the more we support them, not just by subscribing and watching, but when we give a monetary donation to support channels like this one, then we keep them independent. And when we keep them independent, we keep them strong. We keep their voices speaking with the type of base that needs to be spoken um, with right now because there's so many lies going on. Um, you don't know when and where the truth is. So I want to encourage all of us 
to think real hard about the role that we have to play as individuals in keeping our media platforms independent. Why? Because if platforms like this have to shuffle for a dollar, then we'll begin, we'll begin to lose the value of the information that we get. And the next thing you know, you see the level of, con the level of consciousness of our people going down, 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 down. So I want to encourage everybody within the sound of my voice to make a donation via Patreon to support the Advice Show TV channel. Many of you don't see what I see when I come to this studio. It's not just the room where videos are recorded. What I see is the beginning of what could be an institution that could live beyond all of our physical lives. You understand what I'm saying? When you look at Facebook and ask, ask yourself the question, where did it start? It started in somebody's dorm room. Look at Apple. Where did it start? Apple computers started in somebody's garage, if I'm not mistaken. So what you see is what could possibly be the humble beginning of something very, very critical to our struggle. But we have to be found supporting it. So support the Advise Show media channel. Support all other channels that give us unfiltered, unadulterated truth. Um, support newspapers like the Final Call newspaper that that is not driven by ads like it's not driven by ad revenue it's driven by truth and people that believe if we don't again the level of consciousness of our people is at stake so the only way that we can become and remain independent is if we support one another liberation requires participation let us be found participating Peace.